Hi everyone, today I'm doing a review on the Buxom Bodice Underbust Corset made by Pirate Fashions. And Pirate Fashions has a storefront in Tampa, Florida, uh, but they do ship worldwide. So without further ado, here's the front, the side, the back, and the other side. So for the length and fit of this corset, the center front here is 13 and a half inches. At the princess seam from under the bust to the top of the lap here is 12 inches. So it would be good for somebody who is tall and has a long torso. Uh, but for somebody who has a very short torso, um, if you're going to be standing up, this might be okay. But if you want to sit down comfortably, uh, I would recommend trying and looking for a shorter corset because if you try to sit down in this and you have a very short torso it's either going to lift up your bust or it's going to hit the lap at the bottom edge here. Uh, moving on at the side seam here is 12 inches once again and in the center back it is very very high at 16 and a half inches. So as you can very plainly see it is an underbust corset but it's designed to deliberately be a little bit longer so it lifts up the bust as is the piratey aesthetic and uh, it's also meant to have a very high back and it has adjustable straps here. And lifting this up so you can see here it is pointed in the center front at the top and at the bottom edge it is gently rounded. And for the circumferential measurements, today I'm wearing a size 24, and it does measure true, 24 inches in the waist. The rib cage here measures 28 inches, so it has a 4 inch rib spring. And at the bottom edge here, measured straight across, is 33 inches, so it has a 9 inch hip spring. However, because of the adjustable hip ties, they can be expanded quite considerably. Uh, the hip ties actually have a tiny little modesty panel underneath here, so if you want to make sure that the modesty panel actually uh, spans across the entire gap here, then the hips can be expanded up to 38 inches. But if you want to uh, remove the modesty panel on the side hips or just like tuck it to the side so you, you don't have to worry about it spanning across the entire gap, the hips can actually be expanded a little bit more than that. So because this is relatively narrow through the ribs, it would be better for somebody who is uh, possibly a little bit more pear-shaped and they have a smaller rib cage than they do hips, uh, or they just have a narrow rib cage in general. If you have a flared rib cage or very inflexible ribs, um, you might need something that's a little bit more round in the rib cage here because this is very, very straight through the ribs, uh, almost bordering on the concave U-shape. This corset does bring in my floating ribs and uh, constrict it a little bit. And for the straps here, it's sewn onto the front and it is adjustable We're using the grommets and the ties in the back. So the length of the straps, uh, at maximum they are 20 inches, which is very loose on me actually. And uh, the tightest it can go is 15 inches. Now if you are a little bit short, I guess from like here to the, the shoulder, you can crisscross the straps in the back like I have them here and that will make them a little bit more snug. Uh, because of the high back and the shoulder straps, this is surprisingly supportive to the upper back. So if you have a problem with shoulder hunching or uh, rounding of the shoulders or poor posture of the upper body, uh, this might actually be quite posture corrective for you. So let's move on to the tabletop portion of this review and I can show you the other details of this corset close up. So here is the buxom bodice laid flat and as you can very plainly see it has grommets on both the front and the back. Uh, although Pirate Fashion said that they could have used a front busk, they wanted to stick true to the piratey aesthetic. So I'm going to completely remove the lacing from the front uh, for the rest of this review so that I can easily open it up and show you the other details. So for the materials, the outer fabric is this black polyester brocade and on the inside it is uh, black cotton twill. And turning this corset to the side is a six panel pattern. One, two, three makes the front, four, five, six makes the back. They're all fairly vertical panels, very straightforward pattern here. Um, there is uh, some curve to the hip in panels two, three, and four, and there might be a little bit of five here. Panel six is pretty straight up and down as is panel one. Uh, in panel two, you can see that it's cut very long to include these straps here that go all the way towards the back. And as for the high back, it actually starts quite abruptly um, after the side seam here. So panels three, four, and five contribute to that very high square back. So it's not like a gradual scoop where the six panel is the highest, like the center back. Um, it starts pretty much right after the armpit. 
And for the construction method, the fashion fabric and the lining were flat lined and treated as one layer and they were assembled basically with a top stitch with the seam allowance always pressed facing back. And the seam allowance is also um, on the inside of the corset, on the lining side. And then you can see that these boning channels, these internal boning channels, these are separate strips of cotton twill and these are uh, sewn on to cover the raw edge of the seam allowance and obviously they also uh, create a place for the bones to go. The only area where this is not the case is the side seam here where it is double boned and uh, so they use the sandwich method right here. And turning to the inside, there is a partial waist tape uh, starting between panels one and two and ending between panel five and six here. It's a partial waist tape. It's one inch wide made from a uh, single face satin ribbon here. And obviously it's on the inside of the corset and secured down at each boning channel. And the binding on top and bottom are made from black commercial poly satin, machine stitch on the outside and inside. On the outside, there is the tiniest little top stitch, which looks pretty tidy. And on the back, there is a larger top stitch. In addition, it has six garter tabs, three on each side. There are four modesty panels in this corset. So the one in the back here, is eight inches wide, it's quite wide, uh, unstiffened, attached, sewn onto the side of uh, the back seam here. So if you don't like modesty panels, you can remove it if you like, uh, but it's finished in the same uh, cotton lining and the poly brocade fashion fabric. Uh, the next modesty panel or modesty placket is this one in the center front here. So this one I believe is uh, three inches wide, yes. And again, unstiffened, finished in the same fashion fabric and lining and uh, sewn onto the center front. You could remove this one as well if you really wanted to, but personally I actually like the way that this looks in the center front. So uh, you don't see like your shirt poking through all the front grommets here. And the third and fourth modesty panels are actually these really cute ones on the side here underneath the side hip ties. Now I've reviewed plenty of corsets with adjustable hip ties in the past, but this is the first one that I've seen that actually has uh, little modesty panels underneath them. So if you have very sensitive hips, you don't like the feeling of the grommets against your hips, uh, this can absolutely cover it up. Finished in the same brocade fashion fabric and cotton lining. So this is uh, about two and a half inches wide at the top and four and a half inches wide at the bottom. So turning this over and undoing this, you can see how much you can expand the, the hip ties with the modesty panel covering it. And that is about an additional like two and a half inches. So five inches total for the hips. So that will bring the um, 33 inch closed hips up to 38 um, if you want the modesty panel to span completely across it. Of course, if you don't like the feel of this modesty panel or it's annoying to you, you can absolutely uh, remove this with a seam ripper or just tuck it uh, to the side here and your shirt or pants or skirt will contrast. It will show underneath when you expand the hip ties, but this will allow you to expand the hip ties even more than five inches if you need that extra room. Now, as I mentioned before, uh, this does not have a front busk. Instead, it has front lacing panels, as you can see here. There are 24 grommets in the front, size zero with a small to medium flange around it, finished in silver. Uh, the same grommets that are used in the side hip panels and also in the back and also in the straps here. And while this does have flat steel bones in the very center front edge, um, you could see that when I turned to the side, it was bowing on me a little bit. So what might make the front a little bit more rigid uh, could be to put another flat steel bone on the other side of these grommets so that they're sandwiched the way that they are already sandwiched in the back. So what this would do, in addition to adding some more rigidity and support of the abdomen in the front, uh, the extra bone would also help support the grommet panel in general and prevent any warping or pulling out of the grommet over time. And you can see that the corset was laced in the bunny ears fashion in both the front and the back. Now, if you don't like the way that looks, you can uh, obviously change the lacing to suit your needs and uh, your aesthetic. I think chevron lacing in the front would look quite nice. What I did was I kept the bunny ears in the front, but I tucked the ears up over the top edge and that tassel on the blouse that I was wearing, the chemise, 
um, was hanging down so it hid the majority of that like lacing bulk. There are a total of 18 bones in my corset, nine on each side. So you can see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The majority of these are flat steel bones. So this is a flat steel, this is a flat steel, this is a flat steel, um, this is a flat steel and the two sandwiching the grommets, I believe, are flat steel as well. Uh, the places where there are spiral steels are uh, the side seam here that, that run over the hip. So the, where it has the sandwich bones, this is more flexible. And uh, this bone along the back, the one that kind of runs over the um, sciatic area, this is also a spiral steel bone, so it makes it a little bit more flexible. Because this is a size 24, it's single boned. So sizes 20 up to 32 are all single boned, and then sizes 34 up to 40 are fully double boned. So you will have uh, 24 bones total, 12 on each side for those larger sizes. And I had already showed you the uh, 24 grommets in the front, but there are 32 grommets in the back because it's a very, very high back, 16 and a half inches. Um, once again, all size zero with a small to medium flange finished in silver. They're all uh, holding in fairly well, but once again, I don't wear this corset at a particularly large reduction. It's giving me maybe like a two and a half to three inch reduction at the waist. So um, I don't particularly tight lace in this because it's a gentle silhouette, but you can see that there is no damage uh, around the grommets, uh, no pulling out so far. And on the underside, you can see that they all have washers. They've all rolled pretty nicely. Uh, a couple of cracks here and there that um, catch on the laces a little bit. So the laces get a little fuzzy after a few wears, but um, it's not like they're going to snap and break on me. And the laces are black nylon round cord. They have uh, no stretch to them whatsoever. Uh, they're quite strong. Um, they hold the knots and the bows pretty well. They do tend to catch on the grommets though. So you will see some areas where they're a little bit fuzzier. Um, they are very, very, very long. So when I have this corset unlaced, like it's actually loosened on me, the cords, like these bunny ears are still uh, almost touching the floor. <laughs> so um, if you need lots and lots of lace to expand the back quite wide to get into and out of this corset, I don't think that's going to be a problem for you. You can cut it to length if you want to, but just be sure that you're not cutting it too short. The bunny ears are also very, very high on this corset. So that's another thing that I didn't change that uh, I will change after the review is the bunny ears came this high, but my waist is actually closer to down like here or maybe even like here. And if the bunny ears were a little bit lower, it would be easier to lace up the bottom here while at the top it won't um, so easily like crisscross because once you're pulling on this, there's, there's almost no tension on the very upper back here. And so it wants to close very easily, whereas there's a little bit more tension here at the bottom around the hips. The Buxom Bodice by Pirate Fashions is available in six different colors, red, blue, green, brown, silver, and I'm wearing the black here. And for all of these colorways, they're available in closed waist sizes, 22 inches up to 38 inches. But the black is available in two additional sizes from 20 inches closed waist up to 40 inches closed waist. For sizes 20 to 32, the price is $139 US. And for sizes 34 up to 40, it's $20 more at $159 US. The reason for this price difference is that uh, the larger sizes have extra bones and boning channels in them. And so that extra fee covers the uh, extra hardware and the time and materials spent uh, making the extra boning channels. So this concludes my review of the Buxom Bodice by Pirate Fashions. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new. If you did, please remember to click that like button down there as it helps support this channel. If you have any comments or questions about this corset or Pirate Fashions in general, feel free to leave a comment down below. Or if you have this corset, let us know what you think about it in a comment down below as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.